All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, I was originally gonna just do a little retweet of a subject, but I decided to do this real quick video on this stuff. Recently, 3D printing noob Joe um, was doing a review of I think one of the Creality printers. I don't remember which one. But he was having issues, and he's absolutely correct with it doing this. And I'll show you a picture of it. This is a simple and easy fix. This is actually one of the best wire management materials that you can use for going to your print head when it's moving. For anything moving. Pretty much anything. And a lot of people don't understand how to use it. I'm really good at it because I used to build dragsters and we learned this installing it in cars. That's what this is originally from. Most of these are high temperature, which is an added advantage. Really not necessary and probably the ones used in some of the really inexpensive printers coming out of who knows where aren't. They're probably just using whatever cheap material they can get, but they're still solid. And here's the issue and here's an easy fix. The thing you got to do is simply twist it and it will lift. Now the other thing you have to do, and again I'll show you the picture, is you have to support both ends. You can't let one side droop. It won't stay twisted. You can't just attach it to the wiring, which I noticed in his, you know, and it's the stock. He's not doing anything wrong. It's pre-built, but if he takes the zip tie to the carriage, now just before you attach the zip tie, take it and twist it. All you gotta do is twist one side, and it will lift up. Now it's only gonna do so much, and if you have some seriously heavy wires in there, it's not necessarily gonna lift them if if it's an extremely long span. But as you can see, I'm two and a half, three feet around, you know, across, and it's holding itself up. Again, you put wire, the weight of the wires in there, this won't hold up. But it will lift itself to some extent. I would leave it, you know, like attached to the extruder over here. And then at the hot end over here, just twist it. And, you know, he's got a sag like this. All you have to do, again, twist. And when it moves, it'll stay up and if it doesn't twist it some more and it'll flop right over but if you keep going you may have to twist it a couple times it'll get rigid and it'll move and stay up and that's it now the other advantage to this and people say well use a cable chain I've gotten away from cable chains there is a thing about cable chains that this is actually superior once you've lifted it, when you flex this, when it's moving, okay, see how the whole core arc of the material is flexing. It's not flexing right here at the hold points. I mean, it is some, but it's not the major flex. If you do a cable chain, it's doing this. So you have a very small bend area. Don't get me wrong, still way better than leaving the wires loose. Way better than those just the fabric wraps that everyone's using. I don't know why they like those so much. They look pretty, I guess. They're actually the worst thing because they have little or no support for the wiring. They protect it, you know, for being cut or rubbing against something and, and being rubbed through. But they have no support. Those fabrics have no support at all. This has support. A cable chain has some support. Actually, has a lot of support. But a cable chain will flex in one area. Like this. And you'll actually get wear here. Not only that, the way, they, the way they work is it's not even doing this. It's actually doing this. And it's a very small bend because each piece is, you know, it's at the joint. And then you have a straight and then a joint. So when it does flex, it's flexing in a very small area more. Uh, again, it, you know, cable chains are far superior to most, and you know, leaving it loose. 
but nothing is going to beat this because this distributes when you get it tensioned and that's what you're doing is tensioning the, the hose by twisting it when you get it tensioned up okay and you move it the movement the flex is all up the whole length of it or you know larger portion and you're less likely to break wires and that's really it that's the whole advantage to using one of these they are superior if installed correctly again put your wires in there they're, they're easy that's the other thing i love about them is they're easy to get the wires in i mean they're split the wires go right in if you have to modify it and they come right out there's actually someone that made a little tool that makes inserting the wires in really super easy and that's it this is a great wire um, management material one of the best for your 3d printer all my 3d printers are getting them you can actually well you can't see it there you go that one i've started to replace and you can see it right there how it's working see how it's lifting it up in the air there's never a problem with that it does have to be supported at the frame and at the hot end there you go good material works beautifully if installed correctly again um joe did nothing wrong he didn't install it it was installed that way at the factory it's wrong but all he really has to do is take the end where the hot end is attach it you know twist it and then attach it to the actual carriage somehow i don't see in his picture or any place to actually attach it but he can probably figure it out he's an intelligent human being and so can you enjoy have fun let me know if you can think of something else